Hi, this is Beryl Wilson. <laughs> She's a lovely lady who helped me get up to Kilimanjaro. So Beryl, tell me where you used to live, or tell my friends where you used to live. Well, we used to live in Tanzania, okay. and we worked there. We are international teachers, and so Kilimanjaro was on our doorstep. So How many times did your husband go up there? He went up three times. And the fourth right, time he took the children to yeah, the first place. Yeah, and he took kids up there as well. And it's because of you and Mark that I got up Kilimanjaro because you inspired I'm my dream. I'm so happy that you did. Well so done, you. No, well done, you two. <laughs> Both you did it. Anyway, I'm glad it's, it's not difficult. And there's more to come yet. They also told me we're getting a hot air balloon across the Serengeti. That I should go. If I get an opportunity to go. That's what you told me, didn't you? Yeah, well, absolutely. And they were very fortunate because serendipity imposed itself upon them. They met a guy who was doing a hot air balloon and he was just setting up so they got it super cheap. And they told me it was possible that I would see the mass migration. And everyone was telling me it ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen. And I thought it is. Beryl and her husband told me it was. And Mark, unfortunately, every day I met him was dying. I never knew for about five or six years. I never knew. And when I found out, I was gutted. Because he's such a humble, beautiful man, isn't he? He is. He was. And I'm gonna put, there's yeah. a poem in here. I'm going to put it on the video later. Okay. Is that great. Right? Yeah. I love you lots. You're great. Thanks. Take care, Beryl. This see you beautiful soon. thing you've got. It's easy. Well, there we go. Thank you, darling. <laughs> Be lucky. Okay, see Catch you. up your Mr. Wilson's house, the man who inspired me to climb Mount Kilimanjaro. He's done it three times. We're giving him to give him an interview. Hi, Miss Wilson. Uh, It's my bedroom. <laughs> awesome. Check out this view though. So that is bloody awesome. It's a bit cloudy out there. And they're getting rain clouds. They said the next cut day the rain is going to come. I'm telling you it ain't coming till after the 16th. That's how confident I am. We're going to wish it away. See how we get on. Four ecosystems on the way through Kilimanjaro. Tropical jungle, moorlands, alpine desert, and then you get snow capped mountain tops. So we eat your food, toilets down there, accommodation, push day. Mawenzi's on the right, and Kilimanjaro is on the left. And there's the posse, husband and wife. Single girl, and there's Robert Daniels. <laughs> there we are, 3,270 metres high. It's all cloudy. These are the boys and the guides. Should we sign the book? Get your elephant. It's cool, isn't it? Clean crackers so far. We still got like two hours yet to go. It's about like running the marathon, hitting the wall 18 miles, and you still got six hours left, or seven hours left. That's how hard it is. Okay, this is to surprise that Mr. Michael Palmer has successful climatic Kilimanjaro, the highest in Africa to Horo Peak, 5,895 altitude meters. Congratulations. Renames it by the way is Mount Kilimanjaro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, much better. No, it's good. You change the spelling. No. I have. <laughs> Make it much better. Yeah. <laughs>